Hey guys, Captain 9 millimeter here at Battle Drill 6, and I always hear that practice makes perfect, and that's really just not true, because perfect practice makes perfect. So, uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about how to train yourself, and how to get better with your pistol so that you're actually ready for an engagement, ready for a fight. Okay, so we have three attributes that we need to win a gunfight. And the first one we have is we have common sense. And so we have to be able to apply common sense to this, to this gunfight to be able to, uh, to be able to come out on top. And so I can't teach you guys common sense. I, 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 that's, not, that's not my land. I can't, I can't teach you guys that. Your parents hopefully did it prior yeah, to, you, to you coming out and buying a pistol. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I can't teach you that. So you guys have to, have to develop that one on your own. But you have to have common sense. And it, and it sounds stupid to say, but I can't tell you how many different uh, leaders, both NCOs, officers, and, and junior enlisted soldiers, uh, that just couldn't apply common sense to what they were doing and couldn't see, the, uh, see through anything uh, past the high school level. And it was almost like they were stuck in that 16-year-old mentality to where they couldn't see past, uh, see past Friday night. And so they were, just, they were just living for that minute right there and trying to figure out what to do. And they couldn't plan out the entire week or month or training event so that we could actually get through it and be successful throughout the whole thing. The next thing that we need, number two, is uh, we need to be able to apply a little bit of strategic thinking. And so what do I mean by strategic thinking? Um, I mean more logical deduction. You don't have to be some master tactician or Green Beret or Special Operations, Navy SEAL, whatever the hell, the hell it is that you, that you think that you need to be to be able to do this. Uh, you just need to be able to apply a little bit of common sense and, and, and put, a, put a little bit of a forth, a foresight into, your, into what you're doing. And so, like I said, this is, this is a little bit different than common sense in that uh, strategic thinking, um, we're, we're trying to, to outline exactly what's going on and we're going to backwards plan and figure out each step to get there. Um, and so, can we do that in the middle of a gunfight? Well, yes and no, if we're working in teams, blah, 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 and we're taking, um, you know, maybe you're taking your spouse and, and you guys have to go through and not clear your house because you heard a bump in the night, whatever, whatever the situation is that, that, you're, that you're putting into this, you need to think about it and think, think through the entire situation. So let's take that one for example. You and your spouse are, are clearing the house uh, because you heard a bump in the night. Kids are upstairs. You're not 100% sure if there's a bad guy in there, so you're not going to call the cops. So you and your spouse are going to go through and clear the house. But you need to plan out how to do this before you both say, okay, let's go through and do this. Uh, maybe you have your wife turn around and watch your six, or maybe she's taking a different route. Uh, however it is that you want to, that you want to go forward with this, you have to be able to plan those out. So that's where we come into things like doing vignettes and anecdotes during training that really make a huge benefit to us. So uh, doing these, uh, these, these vignettes is, is really, really big. It's something we used to do in Afghanistan to where uh, we, uh, the, the first sergeant or platoon sergeant or whoever it was, typically the NCO leader of that, of that group, uh, would take the, uh, take the soldiers aside and say, okay, this is the situation. You're at the defect or the dining facility. Um, you know, your, your M4 is slung over your shoulder. You know, you left it in the port shit or whatever the hell it is. Um, and uh, a bad guy comes through the door, and he's got he's got his pistol. He starts shooting. What is your, what what do you do now? And so that's where we have to start thinking through these things. And that's where these vignettes will really start to play in, is to start to get this logical and this deductive reasoning, this strategic thinking, uh, to on how to maneuver down. The third thing, the final thing that we need is we need training. Okay, and so that's where that's that's where we come in. That's where the for our facilities come in. That's where other instructors. Uh, that's where you start to start developing and, and working on these fundamentals. Now, training will do one of two things. The one will make you a better pistol shooter, but or or, or firearms shooter in general. Uh, but the other thing that'll do is it'll help you develop that strategic thinking. Now, it's not going to help you with common sense. Like I said, we can't teach that. Hopefully, that comes with the strategic thinking. But um, the uh, the firearms training will eventually start helping you because you'll start forcing yourself to go through these vignettes and you'll say, okay. Uh, this doesn't really make sense. Why am I putting a side saddle on my shotgun, blah, 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 for this X, Y, and Z reason? And so you start working through these things. So <clears throat> the last thing with tr under, under your training, under that category, um, is that we have, to, we have to practice, and we have to practice the, the right way. And so what do I mean by that? I mean perfect practice makes perfect. That old uh, anecdote that, that practice makes perfect is garbage. Practice, uh, unsatisfactory practice makes bad habits. So Perfect practice makes perfect. So that means whenever we draw our firearm, we're drawing it the proper way, extending right, and then we're reholstering and doing everything the way that we that we that we should be doing it. So that way we're getting that training value out of it. So every time uh, that that's done correctly, 
because there's no administration moves. There's no admin reloads when we're, we're getting ready to go out on the range, so we're just going to tap that magazine in there and go ahead and rack it. No, we're going to do it right. We're going to come come from underneath. That, that gun is in our peripheral vision. We're scanning our sector, and we're racking that slide. And so we're going to do it the same way every time, and so that way we're actually getting a practice repetition out of those administration reloads. So if you figure you go to the range, let's say, twice a month, and in that range time, you'd take five administration loads of your uh, of your weapon. So five admin reloads, where you're just slapping that magazine in and, and, and you know hitting a slide of release or whatever it is. So that's ten per month that you've now missed out on, which means 120 a year. That 120 repetitions that you have missed out on, uh, that you that you it, it wouldn't have taken you any more time to take full advantage of those repetitions and actually start getting a little bit better and developing those skills. So we do that with everything that we do. Now we're just talking about admin reloads. We're not talking about the other crap that we waste our time on, like pop popping cans and and uh, you know shooting the little rolling targets along the ground. Stuff like that's just kind of a waste of time. So let's focus our training, focus and, and put some uh, put some initiative and some drive behind our training so that we can actually get to where we want to be. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook. Remember to stay alert, stay alive, and uh, check out our next videos. We'll have a couple more coming up. I'm going to do a... Uh, quick review on this uh, this 25 2245 sharps uh, reliable that they just did so uh, hit us up in the next video and you'll see what that's like